When I saw Christine Jones's name on the uh, agenda, I thought I've heard one of her CDs and I was very impressed with it and I, I was just eager to come and listen to her in person. Wherever you go in the world, there's issues with, you know, it's going to be weeds or animal health problems or something. And it all basically comes back to the fact that the soil is not functioning as it used to. Good soil health is really what we're trying to build. That's how we're going to make a profitable business is by improving the health of our soil. Coming to days like this to listen to people like Christine is where we learn what to look for in the soil and a direction of how to get there, I guess. And you see how that plant root has like, it has got so much soil all around it. It's formed like, a, like that's like a stomach. I hadn't heard about Christine before today. I really enjoyed the topics on the gut health and the microbes and how that all works in with the health of the soil and we went out on the field and looked at the unhealthy soil opposed to the healthy soils and the healthy plants and the, it's just all makes sense that you got to look after your soil and your plants. How much energy can we capture in photosynthesis and how much can we store in the soil battery? So the plant is going to transfer some of this light energy, it's going to capture it as glucose and then the sugars are actually going to come out of the roots to feed the microbes around the roots who will then produce the enzymes that will make the minerals available. But how much exudate comes out of the plant roots determines how many microbes you have there. And the microbes have to reach a quorum in order to function. In our immediate community, through um, the work that NQ Dry Tropics are doing, the, the discussions now when we go to a property, it's not about the stockyards or anything, it's actually about the soil. Because if we look after the soil, um, all the issues that we're facing at the moment with erosion and, and then even just the cost of productivity for our businesses and that, that all um, changes. It's very invaluable to have Christine here today talking to us and explaining about when we're grazing the grass what it does in the soil. With that information, we can then manage our pastures better to improve soil health, and then in turn create a more abundance of, of pasture, better diversity, become drought resistant, uh, and everything that flows on from the fact that we're looking after the soil because we have an understanding. From today's group that came together, there were a combination of people that we've been doing workshops with for many years and having the conversations growing with them sort of on similar paths. And then there's also been um, new people who actually realise that there's an important thing with regards to the soil and looking after our country to create a productive business and a, a business that has longevity. And so, yeah, it's, it's actually expanding. And one thing I think that's uh, being realised is that soil health, it's not a fad. It's something that if people do take on, and Leanne and I have taken it on. And um, the results are, are showing for our business and our staff and um, our properties uh, um, changing for the better every year. We're dealing with nature and nature is never static and it evolves, it continually evolves and it ebbs and flows. And if we don't stay um, supple, supple in that format of education in working with nature, um, we won't be able to keep up with what she offers us. Like you'll have bacteria that will not only be feeding the plant, but will also be using those carbon compounds to build soil. And by building soil, I mean producing sticky substances to stick soil particles together to form aggregates. I think it's been fantastic just to hear a bit of the science behind what we know through trial and error and your uh, daily management. Finding out why things happen, why grasses die. To have a world-renowned soil scientist here at home and to be able to go and show her different types of country and to be able to ask the questions, that's an opportunity you don't often get. This is like our human gut microbiome. This is the soil microbiome. It's an incredibly powerful living system, which on most places at the moment is dead. It's absolutely not functioning but you can get it to function again. Everyone asks different questions and even on your smoko break or lunch break, you talk about different things each are doing and, um, and different things that are working for people and that, that's where you get your ideas, you know. You don't get any new ideas staying at home on your own.
The major thing has been a diversity of plants and how important that is for your soil. You need many different varieties to all help each other out. I had no idea about that diversity of plants helping each other. I guess I was more looking at pasture health more than soil health. But now this soil health um, course or listening to Christine, it, it is making me start to think more about the soil which then goes into your grasses. This is the way of the future and NQ Dry Tropics have introduced this group to holistic management and there are a lot of people becoming on board with regenerative and without it I think that uh, you know we've been going backwards for quite a long time without knowing it and without being intentional so every day is an exciting day because it's learning but it's with Chris and other younger people coming in and building for their kids futures yeah creating a balance and 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 getting satisfaction within yourself out of what you do if you can farm beef cattle or or whatever it be and putting back into the land that you're grazing a lot of times we're dealing with intuition so it's absolutely paramount to attend days with other people who think not not group think but that are curious the way we are mm -hmm. and to make the discovery and then chris and i and calva can go home share with other people it also adds confidence mm -hmm. building to what you're doing to hear other people's experiences and you don't have to make every blasted mistake yourself. Mm. What we're seeing above the ground is just a reflection of all that life that we can't see and can't understand, but we're getting a better understanding, thank you to Christine, and there are a lot of other people there to share their knowledge too. So they're the heroes, really. We just have to be prepared to listen to the message.